This trial is using faecal transplant or poo transplant as a novel way to improve complications of bone marrow transplantation, which is a treatment that we perform for patients with blood cancers. So when we perform a bone marrow transplant, we're effectively not just transplanting the functioning bone marrow, but also a new immune system to the patient. And that can give rise to one of the most devastating complications of transplant, which is graft versus host disease, where that new immune system can actually attack healthy cells and tissues. This trial is, is offered to patients who already have a diagnosis of, of gut graft versus host disease. Graft versus host disease is very cruel, it's indiscriminate. So it doesn't care where it attacks, how it attacks. I've got acute graft versus host disease in the gut. It showed up in uh, my liver function, uh, but then it turned up in my eyes and my lungs. Now we're able to control the eyes, but unfortunately the lungs was um, too far gone and I'd had to have a double lung transplant. So it is really is a devastating complication when it occurs, particularly in the acute context, and definitely an area of unmet medical need. So in this trial, we're using the transfer of a healthy microbiome through, through faecal transplant to try and actively modulate the activity of graft versus host disease in the gut. There's rigorous screening of both the donor plus also the product. There's quality controlled, inventory control as well, and tightly regulated through the TGA framework. The product is manipulated to be a, um, a more uniform in, in terms of contents, quantity and volume, and that means we're able to administer it to our patients via a, a nasoduodenal tube. So this is actually effectively offering a new therapy that we haven't been able to give before to patients in Australia. I've been really well supported equally by my clinicians at the Royal Brisbane Hospital who are certainly very supportive of us as a unit trying to find new uh, treatments for, for this group of patients and also at QI through my scientific collaborators and mentors here. I've seen friends of mine go through graft first host disease and some of them not make it. Um, so anything that um, is available to potentially improve or overcome graft first host disease, I'm all for it. I think it's a very exciting opportunity. We do see that FMT in some patients will effectively cure their acute graft versus host disease. If I could um, take the option to be part of this trial, I'd put my hand up any day. <laughs>